Welcome, and tonight I'm going to show you guys basically what I've currently been working on. Uh, it's, uh, well right now it's a simple twin stick shooter, there, there's not much going on. You've got your ground, which is a spline mesh, uh, but what I really want to focus on tonight, it's not quite going to be a tutorial, it's just, it's, I'm going to show the material, but explaining it, it's, uh, it's a little much for this video. Um, Essentially, the background sky here is fading from blue to white. Uh, you know, you know, nice little atmosphere gradient. I did not want to use a just a gradient, a color gradient, or a lookup table or a texture. I wanted to be able to have it fade more naturally. So I decided to implement atmospheric scattering. The uh, it's an approximation of the equation, but to really go all the way in the material and have atmospheric cal atmospheric scattering fully calculated. Now what this allows to do is, as you can see, I can leave towards space and the sky fades to black, you see the stars, you get a nice blue to white gradient as you leave, but what it also means is as I travel along the planet's surface, eventually I'm going to hit sunset. Uh, we're not going to see the sun setting because it's perpendicular to the planet, we're seeing the planet from the side, but as you get there, the sky changes to a nice amber, then goes a bit more red. Uh, if you climb in altitude, it fades quicker to the night. But yeah, so now this planet essentially has this entire surface behind it, this material, which is giving you a nice gradient based on how light scatters in atmosphere. So this was originally uh, built for another project, well not this material, uh, many years ago I was working on a prototype 3D shooter, I was trying stuff out, uh, I'm going to show it here, and essentially I needed to implement atmospheric, co atmospheric scattering code. Uh, this was just a quick 3D shooter with uh, procedural generated universe, uh, you know, projects everybody tries to, to build. So you had your uh, your galaxies, your civilizations, uh, all the jump points between systems. Uh, this is a cutscene system that I was developing. I showed it in a previous video. It essentially was creating a halftone shader on whatever the cutscene was animating. So from here, I'm going to go find the planet that has a, essentially an atmosphere. Let me jump through, a, go through a jump gate. So yeah, this was a very rudimentary 3D shooter. There wasn't much going on. It was uh, just a quick prototype. Problem with this one is the scale was a bit big. You ended up, you know, flying around space doing nothing. It was empty. So I've decided to recreate this project in um, in Unreal Engine, but this time make it a twin stick shooter. Keep, keep scale smaller, just make your galaxy, everything seen from a flat plane. So I'm going to fly to the third planet in the system. There we go, has an atmosphere. So yeah, the atmospheric scattering code, um, it's based on Sean O'Neill's well, Sean O'Neill's equations and shader that are in uh, GPU gems. Uh, so you get your you get your sunset, you get your gradient. Uh, the 3D code for it, the the my implementation, you can see at the at the horizon, the polygons are a bit visible. It's a bit harsh. Uh, it doesn't work for all the planets right now because the numbers. As soon as your numbers are off, you get these triangles. So my implementation isn't perfect, but it. I mean, this was an early prototype. It gives you the effect, at least for the scattering you get that that I was looking for. So this, yeah, like I said, it's based on Sean O'Neill's uh, code. Sean O'Neill's code. It's in GPU uh, GPU Gems 2 for uh, accurate atmospheric scattering. So you get nice sunsets, nice planets uh, view from the outside. You get the little glow and all the at the atmosphere. His code is essentially based. His technique is you iterate a series of points through an atmosphere and you calculate how much light is being reflected towards the camera from the scattering at each point. It's a very complicated set of equations. 
he did some simplifications. For my material, I took an, uh, an even further simplification because since the camera is seeing the sky from the side, I'm not doing a sky sphere, I don't need to do these nice sunsets uh, and everything, I'm really just wanting to see the light fade to sunset, to sky, to, to darkness. So I'm only sampling one point um, right now, and as you saw quickly, it's fading nice, it's, it's pretty realistic. So his equations here, uh, I had originally implemented all of these in my in the in the shaders. So you had um, everything in the vertex shaders. With actually the vertex shader used to iterate because I needed to do the planet from the inside, from the outside of the atmosphere. So that was all that his entire implementation was done. Uh, same thing with the uh, pixel shader. So his entire code was implemented, but for Unreal Engine, for this new simplified 2D shooter, I don't need that much. I don't need as much. So what it looks like when you use it is essentially you get your whole planet. It's surrounded by this little halo, this glow uh, from basically the sun's on the right. So you get the atmosphere scattering the light and fading it out. Now, since this material is also dynamic, you can adjust, basically, you can make it brighter if you need to. You can also change the scattering uh, variant variables. Let me put this real time. So if I increase the me scattering, uh, this one is essentially for large particles in the atmosphere, like dust, water, things like that. So the sky is more like turns to gray. You still get your sunsets. Uh, at the at the edges, but it's it gives you a greater sky a grayer sky. The Rayleigh scattering, on the other hand, that one controls the actual at atmosphere, how thick it is, and so if you want richer, redder sunsets, uh, this is the value you want to play with. Now the other nice thing about this is you can also change the properties of the light scattering from the atmosphere. So right now it's set to match Earth, but if you were on a completely alien planet and you wanted different sky, so this one will fade your sunset from light blue to purple, then to reds. If you switch over to the green side, you can get a nice little rainbow effect. But you can do very, very alien skies, very soft cream colors, things that are completely well out there and yeah so this, just by changing the light absorption properties you can also change in the material the color of the Sun coming in so that will mix with the light absorption giving you other effects right now I'm using white light so you get to see the the entire rainbow but this is a this is another option based on his equations now, one limitation that uh, was present in his equation is they're built for the Earth's atmosphere being 0.025% of the planet's radius. Uh, since this is a 2D shooter, I wanted a little more space. I wanted to be able to fly around to, well, to have a large area of sky to fly through. Uh, by the way, I'm using a custom uh, physical volume that gives me point gravity for my ship so the ship will fly down towards the planet will be attracted towards whatever sphere of influence it's in right now so since we wanted a larger sky uh, I just have the slider on my planet that I can make the sky ratio of the radius so I can go thick or thin but, and, but because 0 0.025 is just too little I right now defaulted to 0.1 So yeah, let's go see this material. So the material itself, uh, again, so it's been simplified by functions, so you get a nice atmospheric scattering block that is taking every value as input. This is a normalized atmospheric scattering calculation, so it really just cares about the light dot with the uh, well, the light to the camera's dot product. In this case, I'm not using the actual camera vector, but I'm using the planet, since I'm doing a 2D plane, I'm using the planet's, uh, well, just radius vector to do the dot product. 
Uh, bias is just my brightness value. Normalized height. This is you're going to be your at basically how far you are along the atmosphere. If you're at surface or all the way to leaving into space, uh, this is normalized from zero to one instead of being zero to point zero twenty five percent of the whole radius. It's renormalized zero to one simplifying basically giving you this large range and since it's just applied a material I don't care how thick the atmosphere is the calculation still goes through with no no dull discrepancies the Rayleigh scattering coefficients the me scattering coefficient this is the color of the light the lights intensity and the absorption wavelength so to get the normalized height right now I'm feeding into the actual material the radius, the atmospheric, the atmosphere's radius, and from here, this little calculation, I just take the, well, basically where you are from the center point of the planet on the radius, subtract that distance, and then divide by the difference between the atmosphere's radius and the planet's radius. So it's just essentially a division and normalization. Uh, these are the other parameters that are just fed directly into the scattering algorithm. The other thing that I'm calculati calculating, this is the dot product that I was mentioning earlier, which is just the position dot product with the sun's, the sun's origin, and straight into the light dot. So the scattering equation itself, uh, it's essentially two calculations. It's this polynomial, which comes from, um, uh, essentially, if you read the whole article in the book, not it's, I don't think it's on the website, uh, he exp Sean O'Neill explains that he took, uh, I have it here somewhere, he basically took a full numerical analysis of the, from the scattering, uh, for light scattering and simplified it a bit because the full equation is a little too complicated to do inside the uh, uh, inside a shader uh, it's not, there it is so this polynomial here uh, he's just using it to scale basically how your at, it's your height scale to for when you're from the, your zero to one of your altitude uh, to scale it so you get the gradient properly fading out as you climb in altitude. Uh, this was done through numerical analysis and he came up with this polynomial. It gives you a nice approximation of how the sky actually looks. So this this step is just a series of well, the, the, your position times added and multiplied by all these numbers. Uh, the exponent is not available as a node. You have to create a custom material expression, which is just return exponent of value. Now, the real calculation, that one is on the web page, is essentially... Um, Let's see. It's this guy here. It's this integral. Um, what we're doing here, him, it's an integral, so he's calculating from all your points throughout, calculating the, the scattering. I'm calculating one point, so it's much simplified. Uh, actually, if I go to my helper here, I have the equation just in code. This was just to get my sunlight color in the past to be able to modulate everything. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm using here. And simply put, it's the equation that I have written here in the comment, which is your attenuation of the wavelength, so how much light is being scattered away. So it's the, sc the scatter uh, coefficient, sorry, the scatter variable, which is calculated times the inverse wavelength times the coefficients, the Rayleigh and me coefficients. So it's just a mesh of multiplies here and additions. So you've got your coefficients times 4 times pi. Same thing here, the inverse wavelength, it's raised to the, it's inverted and raised to a power. Uh, it actually was uh, 
Uh, it was in my original equation to raise to the power, the, to a power of 4. I didn't question my original code because it worked really well. Uh, I don't remember where it came from, and uh, it's, it's probably somewhere in Sean's shader. The, this was from many years ago. I was just re-implementing re my code directly. And for the scatter, this is actually based on your position, light intensity, and the scatter is this equation here, so that's your scaled position normalized by the polynomial, so that is fed into the rest with the scattering based on the coefficients. So that's the material. Uh, the lower part here, so you've got your normalized height, light color, light intensity, those are just multiplied right at the end with the input that is based on the scattering, so you get your value of how much the light is going to scatter for where you are, and then you apply the light coming in to that scattering. And at the very end, I just get the length for the opacity, so as, you're, as the brightness of the sky goes away, you start seeing the stars, and that gives you the color. So the atmosphere scattering is very straightforward, very direct, uh, and it's the equations from Sean O'Neill. So if we run this again, so you get this nice 2D halo, so if you're doing planets, or any sort of 2D shooters that you want to be able to get this nice gradient. Uh, this doesn't have to be around the sphere either. If you were doing a linear plane, all you have to do is the actual vector you're passing into the atmospheric scattering, well not the vector, but the dot product you're calculating with your light could be done on a, on a linear line, but you're passing it a spherical value allowing for a gradient, so that's also possible. So if we get a nice rich red sunset here and we and we go flying towards it. Oops, second here, need to regenerate the ground. So yeah, you can see the stars turning in the background because you're actually traveling along the planet. The camera is always pointing down into the gravity field and the ship is traveling sideways along the camera vector, along the left and right camera vectors, so the whole thing is rotating around. So now here's the bright red sunset, since the Rayleigh scattering is really high. And it goes into a nice orange, and eventually it might hit a yellow. I put the coefficient quite high. So yep, this is, uh, this is what I've been working on. So a fully calculated atmospheric sc scattering algorithm for 2D projects. Thank you very much. Have a good night.